Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again, or if this is your first time here, hello. Behind me, this is my garage, and behind this wall is my fish room. So for the last few months, uh, regular viewers will know I've been working on a project, which is back there. It's what we've dubbed Mega Tank. It's a large DIY aquarium build, a plywood and wood build with glass front, obviously. It's eight foot by four foot by three foot, and we've called it Mega Tank. It's taken a while to get here, but it's finally done, and it's back there. We've had some trials and tribulations along the way, but it is finally done. We've had leaks, we've had wasp infestations, <laughs> we've had things that wouldn't just go together, delays on materials like glass. Um, but finally, it's here. It's been running for over a week. No problems, touch wood so far. And we're kind of ready to put fish in. So I thought I'd take an opportunity before we actually put some fish in here to talk about what it took to get to this stage in terms of effort, time, and more importantly, money. So back to the studio, I have been trying to track all the costs of everything that I've spent on this build so far. Uh, the amount of time that's spent on it, the amount of money that's spent on it. So I'll take you through some of those now, so let's jump into the spreadsheet. So what I've done is I've created a little Google Docs sheet for the build, and everything in here is basically the stand, the tank, the plumbing, and any accessories. So this one that we're looking at here is the the stand and what I've done is everything that I bought for the stand, where I got it, what size it was, how many of them there were and then the cost. So for in this instance I've got one sheet of uh, plywood, £36.50 and some wood screws and some timber and that totaled up to £189. The first point of note within this one here is this, the plywood. When I started costing this up years ago, so this this was a dream of mine to do this years ago in my old house, and I put it off to move to the new house because I had a little bit more space. Plywood was half the price, if not less than half the price. Um, wood in general, timber, I picked a really <laughs> terrible time to do this because it just went through the roof. The prices of wood went through the roof. But it is what it is. Um, that's, that's what the tank stand cost me, so £189. The tank itself, again, you can have a look and see all the things that I got for the tank itself here. We've got more screws. That is my number one tip if you're going to build your own massive wooden tank. Buy way more screws than you think you need. Um, we've got more plywood, a bit thicker. This was again for the base and the sides. Um, so we ended up buying three sheets of plywood for that. The more timber to frame out the tank. If any of this doesn't make sense, go back and watch some of the videos in the playlist of Mega Tank. You can see these things being built. Um, glass. Glass was the number one individual expense. Um, so I used a company called The Glass Warehouse. This is for the viewing panel, so that there you can see it's 2280 by 900. 550 pounds. That was my number one expense. It took me weeks, if not months, to get to that price, um, I was getting quotes way over, way over double that for various different um, options. So shop around, that, that's all I can say to you. So I, I ended up using 15 mil glass, um, but for quotes for 15 and 19 mil glass, which were the two thicknesses that I was um, considering, for both those I was getting quotes over way over a thousand pounds. and. I think we had a bit of a thing on Discord, if you're not following me on Discord, you should do that anyway, where I was tracking what the biggest quote I got. So glass was a big thing. But liquid rubber, that was my controversial choice, rather than using pond armour or fiberglass or a combination of the two. I am calling this a little bit of a test, just using the liquid rubber, but that in and of itself is not that cheap. So 140 quid there for the liquid rubber, and another 15 quid for the geotextile, that's what I reinforced the corners for the seams of the tank with. Um, and then silicon and a lid, which I got from Polycarbonate store. Um, the tank itself, so that's just crept over a thousand pounds. So plumbing being the next thing, uh, that I got two um, suppliers here, plastic pipe shop and finest filters um, to use for my bulkheads, my overflows, returns to the sump, that kind of thing. So you can see here the various things that I bought and the prices of them. This was another one that was very volatile, depending on when I actually was ready to push the button and buy the thing. It might be a different supplier was better or cheaper, so again, shop around for all these things. But there you go, £144 on plumbing. And accessories. Accessories, this is a bit of a, a strange one, so I've, I've listed here in my lights. 
that I bought. I'm not entirely happy with these, so I might change these later, but that's what I went with. I went with LED lights that I got from B&Q, uh, 8 quid each, so 16 quid for the total of them. I have used some heaters, I have used the sump pump, I have now got a sump, I've got filter media in there, but I reused old stuff that I had there, so I've made a kind of estimation on this column down here as to what I might have spent on them if I had to buy them. Heaters, it's worth noting, I've, I made the choice to heat the fish room rather than to heat each individual tank now. So I'm, I might not use heaters, so I'll probably have heaters to get the tank up to temperature, but then I'm relying on the, the heated room to keep it at temperature. So that's a bit of a, a question of one, depends on your situation. Um, sump pump, again, I've just used one I already had, but if I had to buy another one, that's what the one I've used would have cost me. Sump, I'm just using a box. My original intention was to build another sump in the same fashion as I had built the tank, but the plywood costs were just skyrocketing, so I, I kind of held off and ended up just using a big plastic tote that I already had. They're starting to come down a little bit, so maybe that might be a next project that I'll build my own sump for that, and then obviously filter media. Use what you want for that. But my actual spend on that was only that £16 there. So, drum roll please. That means the total that I spent was £1,432. So I don't think that's terrible. I don't think that's great. There's definitely something you could shave off that if you dropped around a little bit more. Um, but you'll probably lose out somewhere else. The time it took me, it took me four months to complete this project, or to get to this point at least. But a lot of that was my own... I had clashes. I had my own conflicting priorities. I couldn't spend as much time on this as I wanted to. I couldn't find glass. I couldn't source glass for a long while. Um, so I've also included the effort there. I've totted that up. That might be a bit hit and miss. That I think I've spent about 50 hours to get where I am. And a lot of the explanation of that is I'm not very good at doing this. I'm not the handiest person in the world. I'm no king of DIY. Uh, that's for sure. So if you are a little bit handier, expect to cut that in half. I reckon if I... If I knew what I was doing, I could have knocked that out in a weekend or a couple of weekends. Um, there was a lot of doing things more than once because I cocked it up the first time. So oh, you probably saw a lot of that in the video <laughs> or the video series or the playlist that I put that together. But uh, you know, if you're a novice and you don't know what you're doing, expect to spend around this amount of time to get to this this point. That's a number. What does that mean? Do you think that's a good number, a bad number? What else would that buy you? It's kind of hard to compare that to something that you can go and order off the shelf so custom tank builders would be the only thing you can really get something that size remember this is an eight foot by four foot by three foot tank here in the uk one of the bigger custom tank designers they list various sizes on their website where you can get that but there's they are there's top out at eight foot by two foot by two foot and you're kind of looking at between seven and nine hundred pounds for them depending on what kind of options you get it's a tank that's maybe a little under half the size of what i've ended up with obviously it's going to be a little nicer because it's full glass hazard a guess that if you wanted a tank the same size made out entirely of glass you would be spending a hell of a lot more than that um, i asked my audience on our friday night live stream what did you think i would spend or what would you expect to pay for a tank this size most of the answers were coming in kind of around about two thousand to four thousand um, so I think I've done well coming in under that, but still it's not an insignificant amount of money It's not a small spend to get to that, but if you want big you've got to spend big And remember this is all not including anything like substrate decorations um, Plants if you want to have plants in there You will spend an awful lot of money trying to fill up a tank of that size Like for instance, I've used play sand as a substrate for that, but I ended up using like six or seven or maybe even eight uh, massive bags of that just to fill that up. All the bog wood that I own will just look tiny in a tank like that so I'm going to need to spend some more money on decorations and stones and hardscape. The fish that you end up putting in there, they're going to cost a lot of money. Running costs, again, because I'm heating the, the room itself, that's the best way I can do to keep the, the water down. But if you're paying for water on a water meter, every time you do a big water change or a test fill and empty and fill again, that's all money that's going through all these things. Um, longevity, we just don't know about longevity yet, so this is something that's only been running for a few weeks. I don't know whether this is going to last one year, three years, five years, ten years, or one month. 
click that subscribe button and find out with me. Um, so there's lots of other costs that go in and around this. Let me know in the comments if you thought of any other costs or any other questions you've got about this tank build. It's It's been a bit of an experience. It's been stressful at times. It's been annoying at times, I've got to be completely honest, but I'm really happy with it now. I, I did walk into the fish room the other day and see some water on the floor and I was like, oh no, and I was ready for smashing it with a sledgehammer until I realised it was I had a leaky tap and had left something running for a while. So it's it's one of those things that gets me going for a while. Come join me on a Friday night, we'll have discussions about this. 9 o'clock UK time, we'll do a live stream for a couple of hours most Fridays. Uh, let me know in the comments if you get any more questions or if there's anything that you want to know about, just ask down below and I'll get back to you. I read most of the comments and try and answer everything. Uh, other than that, click that subscribe button because I've got to pay for this bloody time somehow. Uh, and follow along and thank you for watching so far and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!